So this is your big moment, Paul. You get to sit on the Iron Throne at last. So what is it about Game of Thrones that you like, Paul? I think I like those dragons. <sighs> and what about the story? Yeah, it's like a, a lot of incest and a lot of backstabbing. And there's a lot of action in it as well, isn't that right? A lot of fight sequences, a lot of fantasy, a lot of scheming. Oh look, Paul. Your Game of Thrones steps. What? What is this? This is the Jesuit steps. This is when Cersei Lannister got everyone shouting at her shame, shame, shame because I think she was accused of a crime, and then and then she basically was walking on those steps completely naked. Up or down? Down the steps. Ah, right. Okay, well, that's good, because I can stay down here, and then you can go up and recreate it. All right. Shame! 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 I am walking down these steps. Shame, 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 shame. Shame, shame. Well, that was no, I've seen this back. In one of those seasons, I think it was like series seven or something. So it's really weird to experience it like in real life. No, I'm glad we did this. Oh, look at this. This is one of your Game of Thrones people, Peter yeah. Dinklage. What can you tell us about him? He played Tyrion Lannister on Game of Thrones. Oh, look, someone else from your Game of Thrones. Amelia Clark. She played Daenerys Targaryen, the mother of the dragons. So where are we now, Paul? This is Dubrovnik West Harbor. One of those epic Game of Thrones scenes. Oh wow, it smells absolutely lovely. So what Game of Thrones scene was it that was set I here? I think this is when Jamie Lannister and Cersei Lannister were saying goodbye to their daughter because I think she was getting married and then she never came back. This is like one of those scenes that I remember her going away but then she never came back because she was poisoned. Wow. I can't believe this is where they actually did Game of Thrones. Like all of this. Wow. 
speechless. Yes, hello. Oh, you want to subscribe? It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. You have done a few locations on your own and now it's time to take a tour. Why are we doing the tour, Paul? Well, I think it's because to see what's in the local area. Just a second, just a second. No, I don't know. And the, start, the sun is in the wrong direction, of course. Wrong side. Um, again, season two. If you can see, so two doors in front of us, just a couple of props by the side, and that's it. Even the bucket is still in the oh, pool. Oh, wow. Look at that. But the bucket, I mean, the bucket. The bucket was there before Game of Thrones, of course. <laughs> uh, one of the locals, he lives around the corner. He just filled up uh, the bucket with the concrete. This is the view from the top of the wall so i am loving this game of thrones tour right now um exploring the city walls and we're just seeing so much of the background and having the old town um city walls um no it's just been fascinating and fabulous i think yeah and if you don't like hydro dude it's uh, so how are you enjoying your tour so far? It's quite informative and I think it's good to put name to face about the locations. Because there's various areas at the fort we didn't really know about. No, not really. Now we're not going to Lokram Island on this particular tour. This is just a walking tour in the city, but we are going to head to the island ourselves later. And that's where you will sit on the Iron Throne. Hopefully. So Paul, you're now doing the walk of shame and we're trying to avoid the cat. Shame. 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 Could you do the walk, my dear? Uh barely. There you go. We did it. It was very shameful. And the cat <laughs> survived. Yay. Are you liking the tour, Marcus? Yeah, and I don't even watch the show, but it's all very interesting. I sort of hear all about it from you. So next time, when you hear the bell ringing, just record it and say, I surrender. <laughs> I surrender. I miss you. Uh, we are standing now in front of the Red Keep. I mean, you can recognize the fence. Uh, they just put the gates on and that's it. Right? Oh. And I was surprised when uh, I saw the gate on because uh, normally they don't allow to do something like that. Mm. But that time, all the Game of Thrones was huge. Money was coming to town. Mm. And we became a little bit flexible. Of course, excuse me. Uh, but everything was again done in a couple of minutes. So she started uh, exactly from here. Is this still the chain? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, she's naked. <laughs> <laughs> you just, no, yeah. No idea. No idea. <laughs> Good. By the way, uh, Again, you can see that they didn't close the gates. Mm. They sent a couple of securities over there, and that's it. But very simple game. Right? So a couple of times, shame, 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 and that's it. But of course, like I said, that was off season. We didn't have so many people, so it was much easier for them to flow. Uh, but that was, of course, long time ago. For example, the Hilton. So Cersei, Alina, she was staying in the Hilton with Peter Dinklage.
to make a confession. You have not subscribed to our show, but there's still time to do it. Just hit the subscribe button. We just finished our Game of Thrones tour with Access Dubrovnik and our tour guide, Davar, was amazing. He even made Marcus really like the show as well. And he was very knowledgeable. He took us around all the nooks and crannies. He pointed things out. Um, I remember things I've forgotten. And now he's brought us down to the pier and he took us to buy the tickets to go onto Lokrum Island, which we are going to go now. Okay. Let's get on board. Yes, let's. Do you have your tickets? So we are on board and are due to depart in a few minutes. We're about to set off to Lochram Island, otherwise known as Ireland, because of the shape of it, which you will see in a future episode if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so it costs twenty one seventy five per ticket to go on this 15-minute boat ride from the harbour here at Dubrovnik over to the island. And there's a nice breeze. It's a really warm day while we're here. Uh, a lot warmer than we expected during this trip. Yes. Um, so we are looking forward to having a nice bit of cool air along the way. The engines are roaring and we are raring to go.
and these gardens featured on the show. Natalie Dormer's character speaking to Diana Ricks or something. Oh. Yeah, because I think that they bought her. Just be right there. <gasps> this should be it. This is it, right? I think this is it. Yes, I see the Iron Throne. We hope you are being entertained by our YouTube channel. If you are, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, it's so peaceful here, isn't it, my dear? Yes, it is. Do you know what it reminds me of? No. No, stay with me here. Ireland? You're going to think I'm mad. But it reminds me of the uh, Ricelip Lido. I beg your pardon? Well, it's got a wooded area. It's got the sea, or at least uh, water in front. And it's just got that sort of like quiet vibe about it. The only difference is they don't have peacocks at Ricelip Lido. Ah, yes. Oh, wow, look at that, Paul. Look, a peacock. It's being chased. You don't want to chase the peacock. It's ruffling its feathers. This is a defense mechanism, right? Oh no, but how pretty. Look, there's another one. Wow. Look at the size of that. It's ginormous. My goodness, what's it doing? It's flapping. Don't get too close. Give us a whirl. Give us a twirl. Look at that. Wow. When the boat comes in and our return sailing to Dubrovnik has arrived at Lokrum Island, did you enjoy your Game of Thrones experience? I Paul? loved it. And we saw some peacocks as well. And we stayed well out of their way. See you next time on our next episode from Croatia. Bye for now. Bye. Oh no. The boat's gone without us. And it was the last one of the day. It looks as though we're trapped here. Come back. <laughs>